The Visit is a film that came out in 2015 directed and written by M. Night Shyamalan. Despite it being made by one of the most well-known filmmakers in Hollywood, this seems to be his least talked about movie. Some people love this film, some people hate it, and for me, I really like it. I would even say it's one of Shyamalan's best films, maybe even on the same level as Unbreakable and The Sit Sense. It's a movie that balances horror and comedy really well, has phenomenal acting, and is very entertaining, but the best part of this film is its plot twist. The Visit is about two siblings visiting their grandparents for a week since they've never met them. Their mother had a falling out with the grandparents years ago and hasn't seen them since, so the kids will go to their grandparents' house by themselves. As the film goes along, the grandparents get weirder and weirder. The grandmother is acting insane outside their room every night, the grandfather points a rifle at his face, and they refuse to talk about the kid's mother. It even comes to the point where the grandmother tries to get into the sibling's room with a kitchen knife at night. There's also a bunch of people from a nearby hospital that the grandparents parents volunteer at that keep asking to see them. The kids start to panic and ask their mother to pick them up through a video call. The mother asks to see where they are and when she does, she says this. Those aren't your grandparents. What are you talking about, Mom? Where are Nana and Papa? You've been staying with those people the whole time? And that's the scene that makes the visit terrifying. For most of the film, you are led to believe that the horror comes from the idea that the grandparents are mentally ill and can kill the kids any minute. But from this one scene, we find out that these people aren't even related to them. They are escaped inmates from a mental hospital their real grandparents worked at. That's 10 times more scary and explains a lot of the confusing moments of the film. It explains why the grandparents never wanted to talk about what happened between them and their kid's mother. They never met their mother. It explains why the grandmother spilled hot oil on the computer earlier in the film. It was to make sure the mother didn't see what they looked like when the kids called them through Zoom. It explains why people from the hospital went to their house to see the grandparents. It's because the real grandparents haven't been volunteering. It explains why in the beginning of the film, the kids aren't allowed in the basement. The grandparents' dead bodies are in there. You must be thinking that this plot twist was predictable, and for some sharp-minded people, I'm sure it was. But the film, at least for me, made the hints very subtle to the point where you don't feel like it's hinting at anything. It is also helped by the fact that this film doesn't feel like a movie made by M. Night Shyamalan because it's a found footage film and has a lot more humor in it, you forget that this is an M. Night Shyamalan film that has to have a plot twist in it. And add that to the hints being very subtle, and when the plot twists do happen, it's very surprising. The best plot twists are the ones that change your entire perspective on the movie, and in this case, it made a film that was seemingly about seeing out grandparents and made it about two mentally ill serial killers. It also creates a very horrific situation. There's no nobody to help these kids, they don't know anyone in town except the fake grandparents, their mother is a hundred miles away, and the police in town are slow and lazy. So yes, I think this film is as good as the sit sense, maybe because it's a nice mix between horror and comedy, maybe it's because of the amazing acting from the kids and the adults, or maybe because it's an unexpected and terrifying plot twist. The Visit overall is a very underrated horror movie with a lot of humor and horror, and I hope you watched it before you saw this video. But even if you did, I'd still recommend it. This Halloween season.